for this, for this incredible World Heavyweight Championship. We go down to our other partners in this event, of course, Alex Krasik, he's Klimas K2 Promotions. Alex, it's been a great journey. Um, of course, yourself, we saw the reaction on your face when Alexander became the World Heavyweight Champion at Tottenham Hotspur, it meant a lot to you. Now defending the title, different mindset. I'm sure Alex won't say it, so it's just another fight to him, but a huge occasion on Saturday. Dear guests, it's a big honor for us to be here, to be hosted by Saudi Arabia. Um, thanks a lot to His Highness Prince Ali, uh, for the whole team of Steel Challenge Entertainment, for the enormous work that's been done within the last couple of months. When we watched Usyk's videos uh, from the training camp, we realized that he looks like a cyborg. He went through the hell in the training camp within the last three months, and it did not kill me, but uh, kill him, but made him uh, even stronger. I've never seen him more determined that, than now. So, not many champions in the world can share the experience going through the war and making their way to the ring to defend their heavyweight crown. And uh, it was an exclusively, extremely complicated challenge for him. But he seems to have passed it good. So he made his decision to take the rematch in these circumstances after he'd received a massive support from his Ukrainian competitors. He was in touch with uh, hiring military <coughs> officers. He visited the hospitals with uh, injured combatants. Uh, he was in touch with just common fans. And every conversation, he heard words of support and blessing to take the rematch. So, people wanted him to fight. People still want him to win. People want the Ukrainian flag to be rising. People want uh, the Ukrainian anthem to be heard throughout the whole planet. And the whole world has to know that Ukraine is the country of free, transparent, strong, spiritual, and uh, developed people. Not too many men in the world can deliver this message to, to millions, to hundred millions of people. And uh, Usyk is able to do that. And he does that through the sports of boxing. Uh, it won't sound fair from my mouth uh, if I start to say how good this man is. Um, since uh, I've been his uh, promoter probably for more than nine years. Mm. So let the history judge how special this man is. And uh, I wish good luck to both fighters. Let the best men win. Inshallah. Thank you. He has been on the team for a long time. We were very confident in London. You were very confident in London. Um, one of us was right, one of us was wrong. Hopefully that's reversed this time. Um, but you know this is a great fight, tremendous fight, tremendous occasion. We've done fights all over the world. Um, very special night in Jeddah on Saturday. I'm still comfortable. Good, uh, good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for having us here in this beautiful country, Saudi Arabia. I can't explain my uh, expressions, what I feel here, and uh, the people, how friendly people are, how warm we meet here, met, we're met here. It's uh, unbelievable. I'm uh, looking forward to come back, if it's going to be possible. Um, I wanted to thank uh, Prince Ali for putting this together. I wanted to thank uh, our organization, uh, Skills Challenger, Metro, K2, to finding our, their ways to work out together. Of course, it was a little bit bumpy road, as always, but uh, we made it, we're here. Uh, as far as talking about uh, uh, Alexander Usyk, I'm so proud to represent him. Um, I can tell you, I never seen anybody, I never seen anybody at the 45 degrees heat to ride the bicycle for 100 kilometers. I never seen anybody swimming the day before press conference in London for 10 kilometers in the pool for five hours. 
I never seen anybody holding his breath underwater for four minutes and 40 seconds, almost passing away, shaking himself. And then I asked him, what's wrong with you? He said, I know I have a trainer behind me. He's not going to let me grow. He's going to pull me out. And I hope all of this is going to be helping him on Saturday night. Thank you. We'll see you on Saturday night. Thank you, Igis. Before we go back to the challenger, uh, the champion, Alexander Usyk, we go to the challenger, Anthony Joshua and team. Robert Garcia, um, straight in at the deep end. Um, one of the biggest fights in boxing, the Unified World Heavyweight Championship. You've been part of the team for a while now. What an occasion. Exciting. This is absolutely everything that everybody lives for in the sport. Huge fight and ready to see AJ become the new World Heavyweight Champion at the weekend. Definitely was a great experience, you know, great being here in Saudi Arabia, you know, everybody's been very nice, very great hospitality with us, and, uh, you know, the team did their job, you know, Angel Fernandez, myself, the rest of the team, the champion, did what he was supposed to do, we're ready, we're ready to do it. Obviously, the first camp for you with AJ, probably seen a slightly different mentality in this fight, challenger mentality. Um, how's it been working with him? Obviously a tremendous athlete and a great talent as well. We know he's up against a pound for pound great fighter as well, but you and I know the team truly believe that he will be victorious at the weekend. 100%, you know, it was a challenge, you know, uh, obviously coming up a loss and, and getting getting to uh, to do the game plan and, and, and do it in training, during mid work, doing sparring and everything, but at the end, you know, the job was done. and. Uh, like, I, like I'm telling you, I'll repeat you again, you know, the rest of the team, everybody did a great job. Anthony himself followed instructions, and now uh, the only thing in his mind is to become champion again, and I think Saturday night, we're going to walk out with those bells. AJ talked to the media about the importance of the talk doesn't matter what happened five weeks ago, doesn't matter, it's everything matters on Saturday night. Getting it right, obviously you'll be a big part of that instruction on Saturday night, the tactics, the ability to adapt during the fight, as well, but the mind frame seems in a great place for AJ to go out there, follow instructions for the weekend. I think uh, he picked right at the right moment. You know, this week has been, you know, pretty easy for him. You know, he's happy, he's smiling with everybody. He doesn't have a problem. I think that's one a good sign of things going the right way. You know, but training camp was awesome. You know, uh, sparring partners did a great job too. So, you know, we're ready. Like I said, you know, I repeat it again. You know, I think uh, I think we're ready to bring those belts back home. Thank you, Robert. AJ. Back in Saudi Arabia, of course, you've been here uh, many weeks now. In fact, people ask me, how's the experience been in, in, in Saudi Arabia? And sometimes I say, if you need to know, AJ's been here four or five weeks. That tells you everything you need to know about the hospitality and how comfortable you are here. Great memories here. That was the past. I've seen you put the pressure on yourself this week to say, I must win on Saturday night. Yeah, uh, thanks to everyone in Saudi Arabia, my friends. My team at the front there, Prince Kind of Skills Challenge, his family as well. My black band are sitting there as well. Just shout out to everyone first and foremost for taking care of us uh, while we've been here. And that's it, must win. Uh, I like the pressure, it's been tough. Robert Garcia, Angel Fernandez, and like existing members of my previous team as well have definitely pushed me, challenged me. Um, but mostly, like, yeah, just get the job done. Instinct, stay focused, get the job done, and uh, God willing, we're victorious. For many years, you've been the guy who British boxing, sometimes world boxing, has, has been on your shoulders, has been following you around to all these big stadiums as well. Feels a little bit different this week as well. You're still the big star, but you're the challenger. You know, Alexander Usyk has those belts as well. You go into the ring with none of them, but can leave with all of them on display here. And the Ring Magazine Championship, I know that you talk about this fight for you is not about the belts, is that what it comes down to? Just about competition, about winning, to have the hunger after everything you've achieved out the ring, inside the ring, you still want to win so bad at the weekend? Yes, yeah, competition, right? Um, so you set a goal. I've got goals that I want to achieve in the ring on the night, and I'm going to be disciplined enough and I'll follow them through. So yeah, that's like competition with myself. And as you mentioned about the belts, they mean something, but that's all at the end of the time. So it's not like I'm skipping the process. So I focus on the process. And finally, you, you've been through some tough times inside the ropes and come through the other side. 
mentally prepared to do whatever it takes yeah, at the weekend. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I want to compete, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I can't really say much else, but you've got to have a competitive spirit, man. Yeah, I'm looking forward to competing. Thank you. AJ, Alexander, welcome. The World Heavyweight Champion. Defending that for the first time, the rematch. The, the biggest fight of your career, of course, on Saturday night. You've looked to be enjoying your time here. You've been in the Middle East for a while now, preparing. You feel good for Saturday night. Good afternoon, Хочу подякувати тим людям, які надали можливість тут боксувати. First of all, I want to thank, uh, say thank you to people who let us, who allow us to box here. Prince Halid, thank you so much. Uh, дуже важливо, важливо для мене, для моєї команди, для моєї країни. It's very important for me, for my team and for my country. Я дуже радий, що я тут, тут знаходжусь. Я вже не перший раз, я третій раз знаходжусь в Саудівській Аравії. I'm really happy to be here. It's not my first time. It's my third time already in Saudi Arabia. І мені здається, я буду повертатись сюди знову. And I feel like I'm gonna be here again and again. Thank you. Alexander, um, many people feel that AJ will be better in this fight. You've also said you believe you will be better in this fight as well. Are you expecting a more competitive fight this time around? Так, я розумію, що другий поєдинок ми друг друга знаємо. AJ подивився наш перший поєдинок. Yeah, it's true. We learned each other in the first fight. He learned me, I learned him. But I think this will not be a new beginning, it will be a continuation. It will be 13th round, 14th, 15th, as much as it will be only the goal. But I don't think it's going to be the new goal. It's going to be the... The last goal will be continued for the round 13th, 14th, 15th, or whatever it's going to last. У нас було достатньо часу, щоб повивчати один одного. We had enough time to study each other. І в суботу буде дуже гарний поєдинок. And this Saturday night will be a great, great fight. And finally, Alexander, uh, last time you two looked deep in each other's eyes. You had a, a long face off. AJ talks about competition, about the love of the sport. Is that what it's about for you as well? Competition and winning? That's why we are competing. Thank you very much. Alexander Usyk, thank you very much. Anthony Joshua, Robert Garcia, Igis Klimas, Alex, Prince Fahad, thank you so much. Prince Khalid, Skills Challenge. Well, there you have it, guys. It's a few days away now from the Unified World Heavyweight Championship here in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. Again, looking forward to a tremendous event, a great undercard, and of course, the biggest prize in boxing, the Unified World Heavyweight Championship. We're going to have a head-to-head -head up here now. Sure, I just And I just wanted to thank my sparring partners as well. My sparring partners, you know, over the months. I just wanted to thank my team, Wadi Camacho, Thomas Carty, Hagron, uh, Victor, Shukran, Danis, Dempsey, Marco, Aziz, Ken, Tavis, DJ, 
Isaac, um, Cassius, Naz, Kieran, all my sparring partners, I think that they don't get enough credit as well. Yeah. They come in and push me so much. I just wanted to big up my sparring partners somewhere in the crowd now. We're still working. Um, yeah, I just wanted to not forget them guys because they're the ones that are the ones that push me. So. say how important they are. These are the people who make us better. Thank you guys, two great role models, two great ambassadors. As I said, this is the most wonderful sport and when you have champions like this, we're very proud to represent them, to work with them and of course, they can inspire not just people in Saudi Arabia, but people around the world. This is a great sport, great people, and they will go to battle for our entertainment on Saturday night. Let's always respect not just these sparring partners that prepare them for war, but once again, these two great fighters up here that are willing to go to battle for our entertainment at the weekend. Alexander Usyk and Anthony Joshua, thank you so much.